Hi, my name is Ryan Deleuze, and I'm the president and founder of Somatic Vision. I'd like to introduce you to some of Somatic Vision's newest games and updates. And to help you decide which games are most suitable for your clients, to give you some tips, tricks, and teach you how to master these games. One of the most common questions I get is how to choose between the many Somatic Vision games. Different games are, of course, suited to different types of clients. Dual Drive 2 is our latest full game. It has beautiful graphics and requires a fast graphics card. It's designed to meet the needs of people who are used to playing modern games. There are many hours of increasingly difficult gameplay where you can earn money to improve your car, buy new cars, and compete on 21 racetracks. Dual Drive 2 is the perfect choice when you want to impress your clients with top-notch graphics or for kids who are used to playing AAA modern games and want a challenging game with great graphics. Dual Drive 2 is also perfect if you want a game that will last over many sessions where clients can invest time into developing their character in the game and look forward to coming back for the next session to progress further. Tropical Heat is similar to Dual Drive 2 in that there are many different levels and high graphics quality. You can also customize your character, but you don't earn money for upgrades. Compared with Dual Drive 2, Tropical Heat is a much slower and easier game better suited for people not wanting too much of a challenge when playing. Tropical Heat has recently been upgraded with an additional six new beautiful levels and improved speed and graphics quality throughout the game. Another Somatic Vision game, Arcade, is a good choice to appeal to a wide variety of clients, as it's filled with a diverse variety of smaller games. These games are organized by row, the bottom row are very simple games. The first three you simply press one button to jump at the right time. These games are good even for very young children, or people who can't play complex games. If you want an easy game for young children, choose from the bottom row. The middle row contains kids games that are more challenging. Many of these games, like Captain Corgi and the New Penguin Adventures, have many levels and track progress. These games are good for kids who want to play fun, challenging games. The top row of Arcade is a mix of our favorite games and games that require much more thought, such as Match 3, Jam Blocks, Jelly Puzzle, and Double Double. There is really a huge variety and number of games in Arcade, allowing people to either find the perfect game for them or enjoy the wide variety of different experiences. Arcade has so much content, it can fill many sessions worth of training without repeating the same game or level. Or, people may get addicted to a certain game and want to master it and achieve a personal best high score in that game. Another somatic vision game, Dreamscapes, can look like Arcade from the outside. It's a wide variety of games, but at a closer look, it's a very different experience from Arcade. The top area of dreamscapes, the environments, are very beautiful environments, suitable for an experience to sit back and relax in autopilot, or walk around and collect little items while enjoying the scenery if you want to use the gamepad. The game section contains games more like arcade, but the creativity section contains a very unique style of games, including painting, building blocks, playing with video effects, these games allow artists and people who want to create or build the opportunity to have a unique experience to express themselves while training. Finally, in the brain game section of Dreamscapes, there are a variety of popular games, including the new chess game with a complex chess AI opponent, and fun simple experiences like jigsaw puzzles, sudoku, word search, math, memory games, and more. Dreamscapes isn't just a set of games, it's a set of tools and experiences for clients to enjoy. Now I'd like to go through and give some tips and tricks for the various games, Dual Drive 2, Tropical Heat, Arcade and Dreamscapes, and get into more detail with tips and tricks for individual games. For Dual Drive 2, the first most important thing to know is that this game can be difficult, but that there is also an easy mode. 
In the regular game, if you hit other cars, your car becomes damaged and it's very difficult to steer straight. If you're playing and your client becomes frustrated from his car being damaged or difficulty steering, or in general the game is just too difficult, you can simply open the options menu by clicking the gear icon and then turn on easy mode. Dual Drive 2 is designed to be difficult and challenging, so if your client is enjoying the challenge and improving over time, it may be perfect to play without easy mode. Easy mode makes the races slow. All the cars slow down, and it also stops you from upgrading most parts of your car. So once your client is familiar with the game, or if the game starts to become too easy, turn easy mode back off so you can upgrade top speed and play faster, more fun races. Easy mode also makes it more likely that your car wins when in autopilot. In autopilot, as you improve your car, you are more likely to win races and earn more money. You'll need to earn and spend about $500,000 in autopilot, upgrading acceleration, tire traction, and damage resistance in order to start winning the races in first or second place. Turning on easy mode makes it likely that you win races immediately without upgrading. Everyone will have different favorite levels, and I'll mention some of my favorites here. Levels with a higher level number are generally harder. The first two levels have very nice scenery, with a mix of beautiful city and nature environments. Grand Prix is a race car type experience. Infinite Desert has very relaxing and mesmerizing scenery. My favorite level in terms of the scenery is Historic Port. This level is just beautiful to me. All day, all night changes from day to night and back again as you race. Baltimore Street Race is a fun inner city racetrack. And Low G is a race on the moon with moon-like gravity. So this is a very unique experience. And the very last level, Hyperspace Loop, you do full 360 degree loops while driving this crazy trick track. Also, similar to the original dual drive, if you want, you can ignore the track and just go exploring. There are interesting animals scattered throughout the various levels, as well as secret paths and extra roads through the center. Feel free to head off track around and through the center of the levels to explore the beautiful nature. You may wish to replay the same level after beating it and head off track to explore before moving on to the next level. Compared with the first dual drive, Dual Drive 2 has more complex controls. In addition to steering right and left and moving forwards, you can press gamepad Y for Nitro, a quick speed boost. You have three Nitros that you can use in most levels. Save them for the end of the game and then boost past the other cars to win. You can also use Nitros in Autopilot. So when set to Autopilot, give your client the gamepad and let them press Nitro at the right time to speed up and win near the end of the level. You can press gamepad B to reset your car if it flies off the track, or gamepad A for a handbrake, which can help you turn corners without skidding. For an intense experience, press the left or right gamepad buttons to switch the camera view to look out from inside of the car, as if you were driving. In the Dual Drive 2 main menu, when upgrading, your clients can roll over the different upgrades to learn about them. But basically, upgrading top speed makes all the cars go faster, yours and the opponent's. This makes the game harder and much more fun. Races are harder with a higher top speed, so you earn more for upgrades each time you win a race with high top speed. Acceleration is the main upgrade that makes it more likely that you win the race. Upgrading tire traction makes you able to turn corners better and upgrading damage resistance helps your car not get damaged when it hits into other cars or other objects in the level, making it easier to steer throughout the level. If you want to unlock all the levels at once, you can still feel progress in the game because you earn money and upgrade your car. So to unlock all the levels, click the gear to open the options menu, and then click unlock levels. In the options menu, you can also export users to save them. This is useful if your client will be training on a different computer next time because you can export the user 
and then later import it on another computer to restore their full progress. Now let's talk a little about tropical heat. As I mentioned before, tropical heat is a good choice for users who want a game that is easy to play. Tropical Heat also has a mode that is in between autopilot and regular play. From the Tropical Heat main menu, click Options and then click Auto Steer, which is similar to Autopilot. Fully automatic would be like Autopilot, but if you click Choose Tricks, the computer will steer for you, making it very easy to play, but each time you jump you can press a gamepad button to choose a cool trick to do in the air. This can keep clients who are not old enough or capable enough to steer their character, still engaged and having fun by choosing cool tricks. Another option for clients who want to play but not to race is to hit play then free ride. Free ride lets you drive around and practice tricks but without any limits to where you drive or any goal. You can simply explore the beautiful levels and play around on the jumps. Tropical Heat has six new levels which are in the new day six and day seven. These levels have especially complex tracks and island environments, which could be fun to explore in free ride. Now let's talk a little about tips and tricks for Arcade. The first thing to notice is that Arcade does have autopilot, but only about half of the games are available to play on autopilot. You can change autopilot in the Arcade main menu by clicking Options and then toggling the Autopilot checkbox. When you roll over each game, it has the most important information you need to beat that game, so read carefully if it's your or your client's first time playing. There is a long video specifically dedicated to tips and tricks for each arcade game. Just search YouTube for Somatic Vision Arcade and watch the Game Tips video. In YouTube, you can jump directly to tips for each individual arcade game in the links in the YouTube video description. I want to play a couple segments from this video to highlight some of my favorite arcade games and give you the most important tips and tricks. When you first start Match 3, you can choose to go through the tutorial. So you'll be creating lines of three or more of this object. For example here, I need to create a line of three or more of any of this type of planets. And there's a suggestion, these three planets are pulsing in and out, and I can drag one of them and create a match of three. Now every single move you make needs to create a match of three or more. Here I am in level one and when you first start you learn an important thing is that there is one special move where you don't create a match of three or more and that is when you have two special objects, these pulsing objects, and you drag one into the other which creates various kinds of explosions depending on what special objects you have. This is Captain Corgi. It's the most fully featured game in Arcade, and designed for people who are familiar with video games. To get started, you need to choose a difficulty level. For young players, or anyone who doesn't have a lot of experience with video games, choose Easy. To get started, move using the arrow keys or gamepad to choose a level. Levels marked with a green flag are levels you have already completed. Levels marked with a red flag are still locked. To unlock red flag levels and progress through the game, move Captain Corgi to the yellow flag, then press enter or any gamepad button to begin playing. Once you start a level, you will be able to move, jump, fly, and shoot. You can jump multiple times before landing. To jump the highest, wait for a fraction of a second between jumps. While in the air, you can press the dash key to dash forward. You can do multiple jumps and dashes to travel long distances. So that's all the time we have right now to go over tips and tricks for these four games and to help you figure out which games might be most interesting for you to use with which clients. I hope you enjoy Dual Drive 2, Tropical Heat, Arcade and Dreamscapes. Thanks for listening.